Hi, I'm Pat and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to open the hood on the BMW i8 and show you some things to check while you're underneath the hood and then properly close it. The hood on the BMW i8 was not designed to be opened by the owner. In fact, there's no normal hood release anywhere underneath the dash. So in order to open this hood, we have to remove some closeout panels, pull some cables, have two people available to open and lift the hood, and then have some screwdrivers available to stick in the linkage of the hood to keep it open. Once it's open, we could check fluids, look at our battery. If we have to disconnect some things, we could do that. But then we'll go ahead and lower the hood just the opposite way as we lifted it. So follow along. So let's start on the driver's side. After we open the driver's side door, we could see a few closeout panels down here. We want to go for the smaller panel, and that is where our hood release is found. So you can see at the top there's a little tab up there, and if we pull down on the tab and pull the door away, we now have access to this loop and this cable. If we give this cable a pull straight back, it releases the hood. Let's go ahead and tuck this cable back into place and then reinstall the little closeout panel. We could see here that our hood has popped open on the driver's side. Let's take a walk over to the passenger side and release it there. Here on the passenger side, there's only one little closeout panel door. So if we release that, we could also see in here is a little cable and a loop. I'll just try to pull that out. And if we pull straight back, we've now released the hood on the passenger side. So I'm going to go ahead and tuck that back into place and then we'll put the little closeout panel back on the passenger side. So in order to lift the hood, you want to place a hand here and a hand at the very front up by the headlight, and you want to lift straight up as you tilt it. That way you don't hit the very front of the hood on the front camera. So we're going to go ahead and lift straight up as it tilts. And then once it is at the highest position, we can go ahead and insert a screwdriver into the linkage and then slowly ease it down onto the screwdriver so that it's held into place. Here we could see the linkage where the screwdriver is connected. This is the tang of the hood in the front camera. When we lift up on the front of the hood over here at these locations, it ensures that this doesn't scrape against this and cause any type of damage. Here's the location in the linkage where the screwdriver is located. Now that we have the hood open on the BMW i8, we could take a look at a few things. If we notice here on the battery, you'll see on the negative terminal, it has a date stamp. The first numbers are the number of the week and the second number is the year. So mine says 3018. So this was manufactured during the 30th week of 2018. So that's how you know how old your battery is. Here is our brake fluid and if we shine a light we could see the depth of the brake fluid, and it's in between the minimum and the maximum lines. On the passenger side of the i8, this is the coolant bottle for the engine. So this is the high temperature coolant, and if we take a look, we see that it's blue, and it is at the proper height. It should be halfway up the bottle, which is good. So if you're receiving a low coolant warning, and this is actually not low, then it's potentially a sensor problem. So down underneath the bottle is a sensor which tells the vehicle whether or not there's enough coolant in this bottle. So if you get that low coolant warning, but the coolant is at the proper height, then this sensor is faulty. Now there is a technical service bulletin to replace this, and the link is in the description below with that information. And there is another coolant, which is right here, and this is the low temperature coolant bottle. 
And if I shine a light through the top, we can actually see the line of blue fluid down through this hole. And this is the port for the air conditioning that's right here. So we just verified that all our fluids are in good shape. Okay, in order to close the hood, we want to place our hand here and then back down at the front of the hood at the same position where we opened it. We're going to tilt it up and then we can pull the screwdriver out and then we could slowly lower it into place, maintaining pressure on the front of the hood as we slowly lower the back. And we want to verify that we have equal distance between the hood and the fender on both sides of the I-8 and that things line up properly in the front. And then we want to make sure that we align our hand with the hinge. So not back here, we don't want to bend this, but with the hinge of the I-8 and we want to push straight down. So we'll give it a push on three, one, two, three. And it's locked into place. So if you've had any trouble latching the hood, go ahead and back up this video to follow the instructions in order to release the hood and then try to relatch it again. Uh, the hood sometimes doesn't line up properly. I usually get it on the first try, but sometimes it's too close to one side than the other side. So you can unlatch it and then try to reseat it and it should work just fine. Thanks for watching this. Please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and ring that bell for notifications as I'll be posting BMW i8 content often to this channel. Thanks for watching and happy motoring.